The purpose of this, this video is to talk about calculating cost of production, including variable cost and fixed cost, in the context of the weed example that we've looked at in previous videos. To remind you of what that sample is, we have this little table that tells us we do have the option of not producing any wheat. We don't have to produce wheat. And of course, if we don't produce wheat, wheat yield is zero. But if we do decide to apply wheat, then we have to decide how many pounds of nitrogen fertilizer we're going to put down. And this tells us that if we want higher yields, we often have to apply more nitrogen. And of course, there are a lot of other costs of raising wheat other than just nitrogen fertilizer. And we're going to try to put all of those together in this video. To calculate things like the cost of nitrogen application, I have to give you some prices. And that's what I do here. In this table, I have to tell you the price of nitrogen, 10 cents per pound. And then I've got fixed cost and other variable costs that will become clear to you shortly. Note that in this video, this externality row and the REIT price row is irrelevant to us. Let's go back to our table and you can see I've already calculated here if you do apply wheat and you get more yield. I'll tell you what the cost of the nitrogen application is, but we want to look at exactly how I got this cost. This one's pretty simple in that it makes sense that the nitrogen cost is going to equal the nitrogen price times nitrogen applied. And if we're not producing wheat, of course, we don't have any nitrogen costs. We might be producing wheat, but decide not to put any nitrogen down. And if that's the case, of course, our cost of our nitrogen application is zero. But suppose that we want to put down 10 pounds of nitrogen per acre. What's that cost going to be? Well, it's pretty simple. The nitrogen price was $10. I'm sorry, the nitrogen price was $0.10. Cents. Multiply, multiply that by the nitrogen application of 10 pounds, and that gives us a value of 1. It costs us $1 per acre to apply 10 pounds of nitrogen per acre. Let me just skip ahead to another row. What if we want to apply 50 pounds of nitrogen fertilizer? Why is the cost $5? Well, the reason is that the price of nitrogen is $0.10. Cents. We are applying 50 pounds. So 0.1 times 50 equals 5. And just use those formulas for every single nitrogen application that you can do, and you get a cost of the nitrogen application right there. Now, of course, we know that nitrogen is just one among many different costs a farmer has to face. But now we're going to look at this thing called total fixed cost, total variable cost, and total private cost. Fixed and variable cost may be a new term for you, so we're going to define fixed and variable inputs now. First, let's look at fixed cost. A fixed cost is a cost that stays the same regardless of how much wheat you produce. And that's why in this total fixed column, the costs are always $50.00 regardless of how much wheat you produce, whether it's 30.5 bushels per acre or 36 bushels per acre. Your fixed cost is even 50 if you don't produce any wheat at all. An example of a fixed cost might be if you buy a tractor and you take a loan to buy that tractor and the bank tells you you have to pay a $10,000 per year payment to the bank for that loan regardless. So every year you have to cut a check for $10,000 and that $10,000 payment on the loan is the same regardless of whether you're running that tractor every day producing lots of wheat or regardless of whether the tractor stays parked all year round. Now, I always have to tell you what fixed costs are and I did that up here. I'll tell you that fixed costs are going to be $50 per acre. That means when I ask you to fill out a table like this, 
where it says total fixed cost, you just put the same number regardless of how much wheat is applied, how much wheat is produced. So that's fixed cost. So let's go to variable cost now. A variable cost. Variable cost is a cost for inputs that change as output changes. If you want to raise more wheat, sometimes you need to plant more wheat seed. So, want more wheat, you got to spend more on wheat seed. If you want more wheat, sometimes you got to apply more nitrogen fertilizer. That more nitrogen fertilizer is more variable cost. If you want to harvest more fields of wheat, you got to use more tractor fuel. That's an increase in variable inputs. That's an increase in your variable input cost. We obviously seen an example of variable input here for nitrogen where when we wanted more wheat yield we had to spend more on nitrogen but we know there are lots of other stuff that you have to buy to produce wheat and to keep this example from getting too complex I'll just come over here and say okay you do have the price of nitrogen but there's other variable costs which are about sixty dollars per acre and that means for you to calculate this total variable cost right here, you just need to say if you want to look at the total variable cost of producing 33 bushels per acre, you take the nitrogen cost, you add it to the cost of other variable inputs, which was 60, and you get 63. Similarly, to produce 36 bushels per acre, you've got to spend $5 in nitrogen application plus $60 in other inputs. And remember that $60 comes from right here. I have to tell you what it is. And of course, 5 plus 60 is 65, which gives you that number right there pretty simple and then we want to calculate total private costs private costs may sound a little awkward to you it's just total cost to the farmer this is the cost that the, the farmer pays and to do this all we do is we take the fixed costs plus the variable costs that's going to equal the total cost like to produce 35 bushels per acre we take the total fixed cost of 50 we add to it the total variable cost of 64 and 50 plus 64 equals 114 and that right there all is all you need to know to be able to go from information like this where I tell you the relationship between nitrogen and wheat yield and a series of prices to be able to calculate fixed, variable, and total cost.